What's up, Warriors? Jason Keith from jasonkeithmedia.com here. Um, I wanted to give something back to the community today. I've seen quite a few questions recently come up in some of the groups I'm in asking about how to create those graphic intensive WSO sales letters, you know, the ones that kind of have uh, pictures and stuff all over them and custom text and, and, and you know, uh, really high quality looking sales letters. Uh, a while back, I was trying to figure this out too, and I decided to create a WordPress theme to allow myself uh, to create it. Now, other themes are out there that can do this. The theme I've created is not nearly as full featured as, as many of the other ones out there, but it's really cool because it's customized to the exact size, dimensions, and colors as the Warrior form. So let's take a look at it. What you see here on my screen is a, a blank WordPress blog. Let's go in to the themes section. And I've already uploaded the theme itself, and I'm just going to activate it here. It's called the Warrior Special Offer Theme. And if we come back over here and look at the main website, we'll see now that our website has kind of got the colors of the Warrior form. It's got the red and the grays, and this kind of off-white eggshell kind of color as the background, which is the same color um, as the background of the Warrior form threads. So now we want to go to the uh, start creating our sales page. So we just go create a new page in WordPress. And you can, you know, call it whatever you want to. The title's not really important. So you could call it your WSO sales letter. And then down here in the normal um, spot where you would type in information in WordPress, you can go ahead and start typing in your sales letter. Uh, you can put in text, you can put in images, you can put whatever you want to in. You can format it using, uh, you know, the H1, H2 uh, options here for headlines. You can use bullet points, whatever you want to. Now, to make this video a little bit quicker, I've gone in and kind of uh, gone ahead and put in information. I've got a graphical headline here. Um, this is a graphic headline that I was able to create using uh, Max's awesome um, uh, graphics uh, WSO from a while back. I've got a link down to it below this video, but that, that thing is awesome. You can create uh, headlines like this, no Photoshop required, or you can use Photoshop if you want to. But then what I've gone in is I've put in my text, and yeah, I've done some underlining here, bolding here, some underlining. We scroll down a little bit further, we can see we've got an image here that I just uploaded, you know, straight from WordPress. If we wanted to uh, to put another image in somewhere in here, we could do that. You know, if we wanted to put an image in right here, we could go up and select our files, and and we could find a an image that we wanted to to drop in. Uh, decide where we want to go, if we want to have a link on it. Of course, a link's not going to be important for your WSO, but uh, and then you could have it, and it would it would show right up there within within the sales letter. I'm going to delete that because we don't really need that. But you can see, you can scroll down, you can see I've got all sorts of things. I've got testimonials from a previous WSO. These are just screenshots that I took by using Snagit, a software uh, that you you got to check out. It's if you don't have it already, it's it's uh, linked down below this video as well. Um, but then I've just got you know all of these different information in here that, that fill out all these images because the, the standard warrior special offer will only allow I believe 10 images and so we want to have a lot more images in it to have an awesome graphic our, our testimonials um, and then down here you know where we would we would put our buy button in so let's go ahead and take a look at what this page looks like if we just click publish now if we take a look at it we're gonna see a couple of things that are wrong with it first and foremost the sidebar here is overlapping uh, part of it. Now this is an easy fix, but let's keep scrolling down and I'll show you a couple other things you can fix. First of all, you also see here your title for your page is showing up here, and then down at the very bottom, it's got comments showing up. There's three easy ways to fix that. So you just go back over to your edit page, and of course you could do this when you originally set up the page. I just wanted to show you the default way it's set up. Uh, to do a one page without the sidebar, under templates here, just choose one column and then scroll down here to not show the title on the page you know our, our title WSO sales letter we just scroll down here and uncheck to show title on the page and then to not show the comments and discussion we just uncheck the comments and discussion buttons down here and if you don't see those you'll find them under your screen options tab here you just need to make sure those are those are checked um, so let's update the page and now let's take a look at how it looks Okay, now we can look at it and we can see we've got our headline here, we've got our text, that everything's properly formatted, our images, our pictures, testimonials from previous WSOs, all the all the graphics and content that we want about this particular sales letter. 
and it's ready to go. And of course, this is on our web page. Now, the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to use Snagit um, software to go ahead and take a screenshot of this and then how to add it back into your actual Warrior thread. So we'll pick that up in the next video. Okay, in our last video, I showed you my Warrior Special Offer theme that we can use to create these graphic sales letters for our WSO launches. Uh, now I want to show you, now that you've created it, uh, we need to figure out how to get it actually into a Warrior um, Special Offer thread. So the, the, the big step we need to do is we need to take a screenshot of our entire sales letter. So I use a program called Snagit. It's really cool. I highly recommend it. They have this scrolling window feature. Let's take a look at the way this works. We click this button and it's scrolling down our web page and it's going to get all the way down to the bottom. It takes a little bit of time to get all the way through the sales letter. And now we can see that it's open in inside of Snagit. Um, and what we can do now within the Snagit software is we can get rid of everything that we don't need. So we don't need this header part. We don't need all this gray background part. So we're going to click on the image button and we're going to scroll down the text all the way down as far as we want it. And for this particular one, we'd probably want to stop it right before where we were going to insert our buy button because we're going to have to manually insert the buy button. So let's go ahead and hit that hit crop and now we could save that as an image that we're going to upload. So I'm going to go ahead and save that and then uh, I'll show you in the next video how we're going to insert that into our Warrior Special Offer thread. So I'll see you in the next video. Okay, in our last video I showed you how we used the Snagit software to grab the entire sales letter and then crop down just the piece that we wanted to add into our WSO thread. So now we've got that as a saved image and now the easiest way to, uh, to use it is we need to upload it to our server. So the easy ways to do that is just right through WordPress, go to New Media. And we're just going to upload that screenshot that we took. So we click on this and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom where I have, you can see this really long WSO sales letter here. And once it uploads, it's going to give us the actual file URL that we can link to. So we scroll down here a little bit further. We'll see here's the link and I can paste it into the browser window and you can take a look at what it looks like. But you can see here's our entire sales letter uh, thread. It's one big giant image. So let's take a look at how we're going to enter that into the Warrior Forum. So let me pause the video and get over to the Warrior Forum. Okay, so now I'm on to the Warrior Forum and we're in the test thread. Let's take a look at how we can enter that image uh, that we just created into here. So I'm going to click New Thread. Now in the test thread, you could you know put your headline in here if you want to, or just I'm just going to call it testing. And then in here, here's the tricky part. You put in these brackets, IMG close it, paste in that URL for the link or the image that we just uploaded and then we're going to close that image and let's preview it. And now we can see we've got this entire image now embedded right in the sales letter theme. Now it's it's left justified. One thing we might want to do down here is throw a center code over it. So we can go right out here in front of it and put center in these little brackets and then right afterwards we can close the center and then if we wanted to, we could enter our you know, buy button here. If we had Warrior Plus code or whatever, ClickBank button or whatever we wanted to, we could do that. We could center it as well um, just by putting that little center code around it. And let's preview that again. And now we can see it's a little bit more centered. Uh, it looks pretty nice right there within the sales letter thread. And so if we wanted to see the way this would look as a final uh, Warrior offer, we could just hit Submit New Thread. And here we can see it. So it's got, you know, properly formatted. The, the correct background color, because my theme background color matches the background color of the Warrior Forum. So it, it uh, fits really nicely into the squares here. You don't have anything that's overlapping. 
uh, and you can just scroll down and see how everything looks into there. And then, like I said, you would have your your Warrior Plus Buy button or whatever you wanted here. You could add regular text after the fact, um, whatever worked for you. So uh, that's it. That's uh, the theme. You can download it right here on this page. Use these videos to figure out exactly how to use it. Um, hope it helps you. Thanks.